What's up guys? How are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dan. Um, I think I look a little bit white casted today. I'm wearing this Veen Sunsimit sunscreen. I actually reviewed this one yesterday. I really, really like it. You guys should definitely check it out. Uh, today, this is gonna be a pretty short video. I'm just gonna update you guys on my Differin journey. It's been 10 months since I'm using Differin. Um, I just wanna let you know what I'm gonna do next. I actually need your help with something. I need your advice. Uh, yeah, before I start, please consider following me on Instagram, on Facebook, subscribe to this channel for more videos related to skincare, nutrition, supplements, workout videos from time to time. Um, pretty rarely, <laughs> let's be honest here. Uh, yeah, so it's been 10 months already. Oh God, time flies so fast. 10 months since I'm using Differin. I noticed great results with it. Um, actually, if you want a more detailed review on my different journey, you can actually check my eight months update video. It's a pretty long video. I'm giving you details about my experience, how I started using it, the purge, all that jazz. <laughs> but long story short, I just noticed great results when it comes to my acne, definitely less acne. I, st I still do get breakouts from time to time though. Um, and I feel like those breakouts are going away faster than without using Differin. Uh, the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, post-inflammatory erythema goes away definitely much faster now on Differin. Uh, my blackheads are a bit less noticeable um, and I feel like my uh, forehead wrinkles are less noticeable. So I guess it has an anti-aging anti effect. So yeah, overall just amazing results. However, I still do get breakouts from time to time here and there. My face is never completely 100% acne free. And um, I want to get there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, I think tretinoin is my next step. So I'm going to quit differing for now, maybe forever. I don't know. But I want to transition to tretinoin. Maybe that's the missing puzzle to a completely acne free skin for me. Uh, I still have like, this is my different, I still have a little bit left here. Uh, this is a, actually a Dapolin 1%, it's a Russian brand. It has the exact same ingredients as different. Uh, it's uh, yeah, pretty much same ingredient list, same texture. It's just a dupe, I guess. And it's three times less expensive uh, if somebody from Russia is watching this, this one is called Cleanse It. Privet <laughs> for Russian people here, if anybody's watching. Uh, but yeah, I still have a little bit left and I want to transition to tretinoin. I actually have here the tretinoin that I got. I have a 0.025%. Uh, I have a 0 0.5 and a 0 0.1. So three different strengths. <laughs> But um, the thing is, the 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 is actually, these are actually not fungal acne safe. And if you guys follow this channel, you know that I struggle with fungal acne. So I guess, well, not I guess, I, sh I will have to start straight on the 0 0.1, which is the highest strength available. Um, and um, I'm pretty scared of that, to be honest, because it, it is very, very powerful and I have to go straight to 0 0.1. I wish I could start with 0 0.025, then 0 0.05, then 0 0.1 maybe. But uh, yeah, I have to start straight on the 0.1%. Now, my question is, and I need to help guys with this, uh, people who actually have experience with uh, adapting and tretinoin, please let me know. Should I completely uh, stop using Differin and start using the Tretinoin 0.1? I'm thinking about actually keep using this one almost every day because I can now use this one every day. And like one night per week, use the Tretinoin. Then in a couple of weeks, two nights per week, three nights. Or should I just completely, like, I don't know if I should like alternate these two or completely stop using this one and start using the, the tertiary because I'm, I'm kind of afraid my acne is going to come back if I completely stop using this one and go, well, I don't know, like, 
I guess I'll have I'll, I'll experience the purge with the terpenoin, especially 0.1%. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm in a pretty big uh, dilemma. <laughs> but um, yeah, I want to start using tretinoin because um, it's probably more powerful than a different for acne prevention. I, I know people online say it's more powerful. I don't think there are studies proving that. I think the studies are showing that adapalene and different are, oh, sorry, adapalene and tretinoin are both on the same level when it comes to acne prevention. But um, tretinoin, unlike adapalene, binds to six retinoin, retinoin, retinoic, acid, retinoic acid receptors in our skin, while adapalene only binds uh, to two. So that makes it more effective, I guess, but much more irritating. But at the same time, it's like, we're not completely sure. The fact that tretinoin binds to all six retinoic acid receptors, we're not sure that makes it better for our skin. I mean, in theory, it is making it better, but uh, in practicality, in real life, we don't have a lot of studies, a lot of data to actually back that up. So it's a little bit conflicting. Uh, like maybe it, this one is better for our skin, not because it's binding to all the six retinoic acid receptors, but maybe because, I don't know, something else. I'm not a scientist here. What am I trying to do? Okay. But yeah, I'm transitioning to, I'm gonna start using tretinoin, I guess tonight actually. And I'm waiting for your suggestions, guys, down below. And I really need your help with this one. Should I, like, how should I transition to this to minimize the irritation that I will, I, that I will probably get with this one? Um, who knows, maybe my skin is gonna like tretinoin much more than adapalene and I'm, like, I'm gonna experience no irritation at all. <laughs> that would be the best case scenario. Uh, but yeah, uh, that was it for today, I guess. It's gonna be a pretty short video, I just wanted to update you guys. If you want more about my adapalene experience, I'm gonna link the video down below so you can check it out. Um, I guess that is it for today. I'm waiting for your advice down below. I'm also thinking about posting updates each month. So you guys let me know what you think about that. If you want to see that or not. And um, that's it for today. I love you all. I will see you on my next video. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment something down below so it gets as much exposure as possible. So other people learn how to transition from different to adapt. Uh, from adapt to, well, you guys know what I mean. Love you all. Bye.